Welcome to Amuse News, the news that is kind of funny and to do with music, I guess. We are back again thanks to unpopular demand with a very special show filmed right here in Vienna. Ah. Isn't that just beautiful? Well, as you can see, everything is jolly. The music world is still mostly shut down in Europe and the US. Musicians are broke but not broken. We are still alive and staying creative, especially now during the holiday season. So without further ado, I would like to introduce you to a lady who is a master of so many instruments that she can't even tell her left foot from her right. She has often been compared and been on both TV. It is, of course, Lucy Landimore and her musical tutorials. <laughs> Hello, I'm Lucy Landymore, and here we are with a tutorial on the sleigh bells. These should religiously only be played at Christmas, but for learning purposes, uh, I'm here with them today. If you're watching them at, uh, if you're watch, watching what, what <laughs> if you're watching this video at Christmas, well done you. This is the the, the bigger sleigh bells. I'll demonstrate. Um, the sound, that's it, that's all you get. With different, different dynamics, good luck. If you would like to make different dynamics, you can also do this far away. You can do it muffled, like down, try to muffle it with your clothes. It works, it works. By the way, Lucy is also available for private tutorials. Simply search for I don't know shit and can't teach you nothing.com. Incidentally, I'm very happy to report that the app and online platform Music Traveler, where you can book your own music space for practice, rehearsal or performances by the hour, has now integrated a new streaming function. Oh. Yippee! It is by far the easiest stream there is out there. You simply upload a video and a photo and a short description and how much you want to charge for the stream. And that's it. Share the link with your friends and fans and start earning some money in these dire times. And Music Traveler does not charge a single cent for themselves. They're truly trying to help us musicians out there. So well done there. It is now time to talk about our sponsor, the wonderful string maker Tomastic Infeld, the nicest, sweetest, sexiest and most delicious string maker of all time. Did you know that they brought out their fabulous dominant strings exactly 50 years ago? Anyway, and now for something completely different. Tomastic Strings, out of this world. It is now time for some seasonal musical jokes. What was the three wise men's favorite song? Oh, camel, you faithful. Oh, camel. Get it? Camel? What's a snowman's favorite song? Freeze a jolly good fellow. Freeze a jolly good fellow. What's the best present for a musician? A broken drum. You can't beat it. What does Tarzan sing at Christmas? Jungle bells, jungle bells, jungle all around. Yeah, you don't know, say what? Skin <laughs> training here, we're blood, yeah? Yeah, you don't know, right. yeah. And now it is once again time to welcome a gentleman who is a Jew but does not celebrate Hanukkah. I'm talking about the seasonally ranting Yankee Jew in his very own Jew's rant. All men decide how modern music should be Make up the rule, it gotta be out of key ah. The midi pack You know what that is? Is that French for packed lunch? Euh, Henri, c'est quoi ça? Euh, c'est mon uh, midi pack avec mon sandwich No, the midi pack is death 
to real songwriting. It's basically a pre-made set of chords progressions, usually a maximum of four chords, which any Joe Schmuck can just download and buy, and then now he or she can write music on their computer. This means that nowadays, composers, or should I say posers, posing as composers, don't need to know shit about music. They think C sharp is a trip to the optician. In fact, most of these counterfeiters don't even know how to play a f***ing instrument. What the f happened to real songwriting? How did we go from Schubert, Schumann, Gershwin, Irving Berlin, Queen, Beatles, Billy Joel to this? Look, I understand not everybody can be Jacob Collier, but if you're gonna write music, Take some music lessons, learn about the craft, play an instrument. You might even have some fun. Play by ear, play with your nose, play with your ding dong merrily on high. Irving Berlin did. And you know what? Till today, since 1942, the best selling song of all time is I'm dreaming of a white Christmas just like the ones you used to know. Now that's fucking real songwriting. I'm Hyaki Ju, reporting from Muse News. Merry Christmas. Music can be beautiful, it can move your soul, touch your heart, make you laugh, dance, cry, and, well, it can also be a bit strange. I personally love strange music, or music that is out of the ordinary, but to make strange music or to play music in a strange way, it requires one thing more than anything else, strange musicians. Some may argue that all musicians are strange, a bit mad, and just different from other human beings. Although that might be the case, there are some strange musicians that really stick out. In the land of the weirdos, there are still the kings and queens of strange, the really crazy ones. At times, even well-known musicians have hidden crazy sides that many people may not even know about. But what constitutes weird and strange? What is strange to you may be normal to someone else. Let me start with a fellow violinist and student of my former violin professor, Boris Kushnir. Her name is Patricia Kopachinskaya, and she is an awesome violinist. But without explaining too much why she is one of the strange ones, why don't we have a little look at what types of music she is into playing? Clearly, very into it. That's funny. That's funny. It's intense. Different. The Umbrella Man. <laughs> weirdos attract other weirdos. So there are people ready to jump on that train. Like the Italian violinist Salvatore Lombardo, whose YouTube channel literally says on it, crazy violinist. He filmed a little homage to Patricia. Ah! Ooh! It's 
just the same. That's a nice little touch. Not really sure which one is the crazier and the weirder one. Um, I think they're both about the same. Uh, but a weird performer needs a weird composer. And in this case, the Hungarian composer Georgi Ligeti can be of help, of course. Appropriately enough, he was actually the teacher of my own composition teacher, Malcolm Singer. Another strange and weird, yet absolutely amazing performer is the Canadian singer and conductor Barbara Hannigan, here interpreting Ligeti in her very own special way. <laughs> That's how one does it. Give the chewing up to Sir Simon Rattle. Well done there. London Symphony Orchestra. Decision is just ridiculous. And she looks pretty cute there, if I may say so. What did you say? Wow, that's all. And if that's not hard enough, she does the same piece conducting the orchestra herself. He's ripping up a poster of Barbara Hannigan herself. That's just extraordinary. It's strange, but... Yeah, 
Yet strange can often mean fearless. Fearless musicians who embrace their strangeness in a funny, often charming, and definitely absurd way. Like, for example, the cellist Rushad Eggleston. Let's check him out. <laughs> Strange and different can also easily live in the world of jazz. There may be few people to prove that better than the Austrian bass player Georg Breinschmidt and the trumpet player Thomas Gunsch. How about checking something out that they did as a live stream recently? Aerosole. with one hand and play with the other, why not? To funk, we have the strangely extraordinary duo Noah. If you don't know them, you will now. Often people with an abundance of talent can simply be different. This may indeed lead to strangeness and even humor. To prove that, let's take a little look at Beardy Man. In case you don't know what he does, I will not tell you. Just find out for yourself.
<laughs> he commands the crowd, but that's not all he does. doing some fucking weird shit, innit? Weird. That's exactly the word. And now, as a seasonal special, we will have the extraordinarily weird, amazing pianist Gabriela Montero improvise a theme for you. You will have to guess which one, comment below, and you will win... something. Are you ready for this? I'm gonna give you one minute and I'm gonna show you yeah. on the counter. Ready, steady, and go. Wow! <laughs> perfect! Perfect timing! Wow! Coming up next on Amuse News, you will have the full interview of Gabriele Montero, plus a lot of amazing improvisations. To list all of the weirdos of music here would be impossible and would literally blow up the internet. That is why I have added my own list of amazingly strange musicians in the descriptions, so the ones we couldn't mention here. But please do share your very own favorite weirdos in your comments below. And above all, post them for everyone to see and discover. Weirdos need weirdo fans and strange supporters, and that can indeed be you. Of course, to talk about weird people and not talk about myself would be telling half the story. But Rather than going in depth about all the strange stuff that I have done and I'm doing, I would rather ask you to, one, watch some more of my videos on my channel and tell me which ones you like and which ones you hate. Two, to hit the like and the subscribe button, because otherwise it just doesn't count. And three, enjoy a little teaser from my new song, Whatever I Want. Most people are raised to be good obedient citizens. We should behave a certain way, eat certain food that benefits our culture and play a certain style of music that we were raised with. But us strange weirdo musicians refuse to comply. Out of wisdom or foolishness or both, we believe that we can be whoever we want to be and do 
whatever we want. When I was young, people told me I ain't gonna play what I was gonna play. But I told them that ain't gonna happen, not on my watch. People told me I couldn't mix bluegrass, country music with rock and roll and some good old dubstep. But I went ahead and did it anyway. Cause my daddy told me there ain't gonna be a day when it ain't right to say what the hey. And to this day, I still don't know what it means. Hey, hey, howdy y'all. I won't ever do what you tell me. Hey, hey, howdy y'all. I will do whatever I want. Please enjoy the festive season, like this video, subscribe to my channel and just keep on browsing on it forever and ever 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 and ever. I think that's enough evers. Two more. Two more. Ever. Ever. If you subscribe, I will wear pants for the next episode. I think we're done. Yeah. Good job, guys. Thanks.